I'm Alexandra Coughlin, Glyndebourne's Opera Content Consultant, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what's coming up in the Glyndebourne Festival 2019. So we've got a season of musical fairy tales this year, including operatic adaptations of The Little Mermaid and Cinderella, as well as a few rarely staged operas, including Massenet's Cendrillon and Berlioz's The Damnation of Faust. This is actually quite a rare opportunity to see The Damnation of Faust fully staged. Berlioz conceived this piece for the concert hall, but it's actually more dramatic than any opera. It's a piece that takes you literally up to heaven and down to hell and everywhere in between. It stars some very familiar faces, including British tenor Alan Clayton, who makes his role debut as Faust, and Christopher Purvis as his nemesis, the devil Mephistopheles. Rinaldo is the first opera that Handel wrote for London, and it's a real musical calling card. It's hit after hit, including the exquisite aria, Lascia Chiopianga, one of his most famous pieces. Robert Carson's Rinaldo is a really classic Glyndebourne Handel staging. Verdi described The Barber of Seville as the greatest comic opera of all time, and it's very hard to argue with that. It's just a really brilliant, sophisticated musical comedy set to some of opera's finest tunes. Sandrio is Massenet's take on the traditional Cinderella story, but he goes back to the original fairy tale in which her father, Pandolf, is still alive. Fiona Shaw's production is a contemporary updating, so this is very much a modern-day fairy tale. The question she's asking here is about the power of imagination, the power of fantasy. Can wishing really make it so? And I think the answer this production offers is a resounding yes. This is a cast of really familiar faces at Glyndebourne. Danielle Deniza makes her role debut as Cendrillon, with American mezzo-soprano Kate Lindsay as her Prince Charming. Rusalka is Vorjak's best-loved opera. It's a uniquely Czech take on the traditional story of The Little Mermaid. This particular production was a sellout last time it was at Glyndebourne. Melly Still's production is really beautiful to look at. It really captures the magic and the enchantment of this opera, but also gives, I think, just a hint of the darkness that lies beneath the surface. Mozart wrote the magic flute in the last year of his life, and there's definitely a sense that he's at a turning point. He's asking some really big questions about faith, religion, how to be a good man, but he's doing it with such lightness of touch. There's real whimsy and real enchantment here in the music. With this production, Mozart is definitely back with a bang. We very much hope that you can join us for the Glyndebourne Festival 2019. In the meantime, if you want to find out more about any of the pieces, do look out for our Introducing series online.